oven out. I know we're not. We're, this doesn't look like he's a oven out studio. <laughs> uh, this is that's a a very good message. Uh, if if you want to see me, should, if you want to have ideas for these a oven to paint you, go to these a oven dot com for for best scenes of the week. That was an amazing introduction. Thank you. Say bye. Uh, bye, and don't forget uh, if you, if your uh, child wants a painting, that's a go. Oh my gosh, you are the best promoter ever. Uh, what's up, <laughs> I'll tell you later. Bye. Hello. Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I hope you liked that little intro from Mo. I didn't even tell him to say any of those things. <clears throat> and I did teach him what a promoter was. Uh, so we're back at the lake background after lots of requests because I haven't been back here in a while because I moved my studio upstairs, but I brought a few things down here so you could see the lake. Isn't that nice? Wait, let me get out of the way. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> so today I'm going to try something. Um, I had an idea and then I wanted to talk about how I choose colors from an idea. So I have my Liquitex gouache and I wanted to use it as my cell activator. However, this actually isn't the gouache because I only got half um, of what I wanted into my cell activator and I ran out. So I mixed it with the regular soft body. This color is bright aqua green. So I hope, cause I, I wanted it to be thick enough because when you're mixing, um, especially with gouache, it's thinner than regular two paint for your cell activator. So my ratio was more like, or I wanted it to be more like one to one. And if you want to know what my secret sauce is, you have to take the Shelly art class. I have 15% off. Uh, in the description. So I'm hoping that the mixture, because they're totally different um, things, gouache, which is more of a watercolored based thing and just regular, that's Elliot, he's grieving because he's working out on his punchy bag and uh, getting really excited. Um, so I hope it works. So, but back to color, this was my idea for a cell activator. So from here, I thought, what? uh would look good with this so uh oh number one i wanted to show you i think i'm changing up my pouring medium because what i usually use uh is watco which is from canada and this batch that i got so normally it's actually quite pink which is okay because the color um still stays but this is less pink sorry there's a plane in the back could that have any more noises so it's actually quite thin thinner than it usually is and that's not helpful especially if you want to use pigments um you really want to thicken it up so i'm trying sherwin williams um which you can see oops <laughs> is oh god it's quite thicker so my what i'm doing is because i'm using pigments and two paints um so i'm using four to one ratio with the sherwin williams with a bit of josanya and a bit of polycrylic and i'll show you what that consistency looks like so i'm using two pigments today um i got these new pigments this little piggy i really really like them and they have a great gold by the way but today i'm using twinkle and velvet and you can see i mean i hope because i haven't actually used them but i can see it looks like twinkle is a blue um an iridescent blue and the velvet looks more kind of like pinky or purple so the reason i'm using these is because my color palette today is going to start with um, Matisse Southern Ocean Blue, which is a really nice color. Um, and I thought it would look really um, nice layered with an interference on top, which is that velvet. So this is the velvet and you can see it's quite thick enough to hold up everything. Cause I'm gonna be swiping today. Um, so that's a pretty nice consistency. That's kind of what you want to see. So I started off with the blue because remember we're doing the aqua. So we're going blues with that, the interference blue on top 
Now, I thought to myself, we need to kind of break it up a bit. So what goes good with blue? I think possibly purple. So this is Liquitex um, Prism Violet. And you wanna remember when you mix because all the paints are different consistencies. So you might have to put more, for instance, um, this is thinner than a two paint. So you put more of this in your pouring medium than a two paint. And you can see it's, it's similar to the um, English, the pigments. So this is a two paint. Um, I'm using Ultramarine Violet Amsterdam. And I'm, I put only a little bit in, but you can see how thick it is. It might be, a, it's even a little thicker than everything else, but that's fine. And on top of those is what's gonna go my interference uh, twinkle. So this is twinkle. And it's hard to tell what color it's gonna be, but it looks quite pinky here. So you can see I got nice runny colors. Um, so this is the consistency of my cell activator. Um, it could be, oh, I don't know. It could be okay. Oh, it looks a little gloopy, doesn't it? Maybe I'll put too much paint, let's see. It's a little, no, it's not too bad. It is, a, it looks a little thicker, but because it doesn't have as much pigment as let's say a black or a white, I really want my cells to stay together. So, and I'll also be using white cell activator if that doesn't work. So basically, that's how I choose my colors. I hope they look good. Um, and let's get to swiping. See you soon. Okie doke. I have my pillow down. I'm using um, Sherwin-Williams color to go. Tricorn black. Um, I'm thinking that the sparkles on top of the black are gonna look really good. I, of course, don't really have a plan of what we're doing. But I think the first color I'm gonna lay down is that light purple because we've got a dark base. So it will kind of break it up a bit, hopefully. And again, you know, I'm always trying to do different things, but then I end up just doing the same thing. So I don't really have a plan. We're just gonna go for it. Just a regular old line because this is just a test piece. Of, oop. Anyways, like I said, that's pretty thickety. So, okay. So I'm thinking like, on one half, or how about one side I'll do the blue, because we're going simple, right? One side I'll do the blue, the other side I'll do the purple. So in that case, <clears throat> I have to think because, do I want the sparkle as the top layer or the two paint as the top layer? Because the two paint will hold the cell activator better. Um, so let's try that. Let's try the sparkles first and then the two paint because <clears throat> I want the cell activator not to sink in. Although, even though this is pretty thick, but okay, whatever. Um, so this is the blue, I think. <laughs> this is the blue. So I'm gonna do this half of the blue, all right? I'm going to do this half of the pinky. Okay. And then I will do the two paint. Okay. And then the tube paint. All right. And that was it, simple. So let's, I'm using um, this painting tool. I'm gonna put the cell activator on the edge and swipe. Let's hope that this turquoise works, guys. Now, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to try it again when I get more of the gouache uh, because I don't even know how these two paints react together, but we'll see in a second. All right, so I've just put some here. Let me start in the middle. And we don't really got much going on. So yeah, I know gouache on its own works well because I've used um, 
the hot pink one. So we know that the two paint of the regular Liquitex does not work for us. Um, so should I get another gouache color and try that? You know what? I have a dark turquoise one. Okay, I'm gonna pause, give me a second. I'm gonna mix up some dark turquoise um, and try that. Okay, so I had a crazy idea. Because this um, turquoise deep is very similar to the blue I laid down, see it looks the same. Um, what I did was I took the prism violet in the gouache and I made a cell activator of that. So I'm gonna do over the blue, the purple cell activator, and over the purple, the blue cell activator. Don't know if it's gonna work. I might have just wasted everybody's time, but let's see. So you could see this swipe I just did was not great. So we're gonna swipe over it again, but I'm gonna use the prism violet. And this is straight gouache. Let's see. Is my crazy idea going to work? If not, we'll just go to the whites and pretend this never happened. There we go. You can see the cells are coming together better. Anyways. Um, so remember to clean your tool between each swipe. So I'm gonna go purple all the way down and then um, blue on the other side. Let's see. All right, so we know not to mix things, right? Okie doke. see how the blue looks. So I'm on day three of Noom, by the way. Going well. Uh, I just don't want to get mixed up in my paint. Oh yeah, that's the paint. So I like it <clears throat> because it's basically calorie counting, but if you need a little push, they have like a person who writes you every day. They have little stories, you know, keeps you kind of in the, that mindset. All right, here's the blue. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, whatever, we'll keep going. Oh, this is an 18 inch wood board, by the way, cradled. So this is a one-to-one -one recipe. Oh, I see here, it's kind of like sinking a little bit. I don't know. I'll continue with the blue anyways. It's always trial and error, you know. Hold up. Some of them look pretty cute. All right, I'll go back with the purple. What am I do? A fun purple. Well, let me do a straight purple first. So to lose weight, apparently, can't really eat many calories. And you wouldn't believe when you start actually looking at calories, how many calories are in everything that you eat. It's pretty nuts. Okay. Okay. I want to fix the middle a little bit so it's kind of cool. Um, do I like, I'll do like a blue, I'll do a blue swipe. And what I'm going to do is I'll use, I'm get, I got new little palette knives, but right now I'm just going to use some cardboard. Um, what size do I want? So I'm just taking a piece of cardboard and I'm going to make a little lip on it. Oh, oh, 
a little lip. I'm gonna put my blue on there. Let's see how that goes. Okay. And then why don't I I'll swipe some you know what? Why don't I do a white swipe? See how that looks, because I'm not. Uh, for instance, by the way, back to the new, uh, if you're thinking of having a piece of avocado, just forget about it. It is not, even though it's delicious, it is not worth the calories, apparently. FYI. Okay. So I put some white cell activator on this one. We'll see how this goes. All right. Oh, I'm liking the white too. Why don't I do another white? So I'll, I'll continue with the swipes and then I'll do another white kind of <clears throat> down that middle, but that's looking nice. Um, do we like what's happening? The... I don't know the pink. I don't, I'm not liking the pink, uh, or the, I should say the purple cell activator as much as kind of like breaking down a little bit. <clears throat> so why don't I go, since I like the white, why don't I fix it and I'll do a white swipe and cover that up because I don't like it. Let's see. How would I do it? Yeah, why don't I just go like, first, I'll just snooze it a little bit so I don't get any black paint on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some white on, a little bit of paint. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'll have to think about if this gouache is working for me. Definitely. Um, like, we'll see how it stretches out. But I don't know. Should I continue with the white? Because the white's looking better. I could just also have too much paint as usual. Um, all right, why don't... I'll do another blue that way, see how that goes. At this point, it's just wasted paint, right? No big whoop. I've wasted quite a bit in my day. Okay. We'll get that white, that blue. Okay. See, at first the cells pop up nice and then they kind of disintegrate a little bit. Um, all right, let's fix what's going on here. Uh, I'm not gonna do the purple, um, am I? Okay, uh, let me schmooze that a bit. Or should I just go for it? Because, yeah, I want to redo over here and maybe do something interesting. Um, okay. <laughs> See, my tool is so big, I need a smaller tool. All right, whatever. We're going to go for the white and just do it, right? And then I'll see what we got. Okay, so do we even like 
what's going on. I don't mind now the blue melting into the purple doesn't look so bad. Uh, I do want to fix this area here. So I'm going to go with the blue and just swipe down. Also, because I don't know what's actually going to stay when I tilt it, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I don't like any of that. Does that do anything? Kind of. All right. All right, we got some cool shapes going. So now to the tilt. Another stressful part of this whole situation. Um, so you wanna look at what you like, and I don't like warped cells. So usually I like to tilt it sideways first. Um, I, like, I, I like this side here. Uh, let me lift it up. Yeah. So let's, are we moving? Let's see. Yeah, we're moving a little bit. So I'm gonna just get this off a little bit. Hi, babe. Here comes trouble. Everyone heard you're you're yelling at your workout before. What do you mean? <laughs> when I was doing my No no no, you're not posting any of that. <laughs> no, no, no. Not I was in the other room and you were just screaming a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's the only thing that keeps me going. I like this, but unfortunately what are you thinking? I like the colors. Yeah. Now just rub that white blob at the bottom. You definitely gotta get rid of that. Okay. Just stands out like a solid dog. Yeah, okay, here we go. And then do your magic. My magic. All right, here we go. There, blob away. Yeah, now it's better. And then I like these cells, I want to keep them. And then you spin, no? Not to yet. There's oh, still too much. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> There's too much paint still. Okay, now I'm gonna tilt it down this way. So what am we doing my lesson? Like, I, I, can't oh, I know. Wait for you to tell me. I know. I'm so busy with all my other so ideas. So busy, busy. No time for the beginners. <laughs> Don't say that. I help a <laughs> lot of beginners. Okay. That's why I think I'd help them out. You would. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. So far. Okay. So unfortunately, there's still a lot of paint. So, what are you thinking so, so far? So what do we do when there's a lot of paint? Then? What's the best way? Because if you leave a lot of paint, what happens? When it dries, it sinks? It sinks, it cracks. There's nothing good that happens. So what's the best way to tell when a painting has a, just enough paint or too much paint? Give, me, give, give the people out there some type of... That's a good question, babe. Um, what... Is it when it, you start it, tilting yeah, and it stops you, moving? Exactly. So you can kind of see how... But sometimes... That it, sometimes it tilts one way, but it won't tilt the other. So you kind of got to move it around. I'm just looking to see. Ah, listen, I watch what you do. So I'm just gathering that. I like this. So that's what I'm asking. Would you want to tilt it in all directions to make sure it's all moving in all directions? Yeah. See, there's still too much paint because it's moving. But I so, so what? Okay. So we're at that point. So now what would you do? You would spin it further? Yeah. Without losing a... Or tilt it, like. like a combination of tilting the Yeah, off. but you don't want it to warp too much. That's the only problem. So I'm trying... So warping starts happening when you if spin just, too much? Uh, well, both, if you spin or tilt too much. So tilting also causes that? Yeah. Uh, I thought just spinning did. Well, it depends how you tilt. That's why you have to be careful the way you tilt. So it's a, there's a feel to it, right? Yeah. I like this, though. Come look. Let me stand up. Here, this is the way I... I do would. like it. Right? Yeah, it kind of looks like a wave crashing, but then the yeah. other way looks like a flower. Do we like it? Do we like it the, which way? Let's see. I kind of like it. Like if I'm looking at it, yeah. keep going, I would put it up like that. Really? Yeah, because there's a lot of movement that way. Now check that out. See? No, keep going. Yeah. See how much movement there is there? Yeah. Let's see. But I guess it's to each their own, right? With one of these? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I like it. Like I always like things diagonally, but. I just think which way the movement goes, kind of, and, yeah. and how you're feeling about it. So this is the gouache cell activator. It kind of works in some areas. What, um, I, what again I do like about whatever you're using these days yeah. is even in the dark areas, yes, that's it, the it kind of fades away. I yeah. like that instead of just stopping, it yeah. fades. Okay, I'll leave you to it now. I'm done. Thanks for joining. Let me know what you think. Here's a close up. Have a good day.